Hello, my name is Natalia and I am your English teacher. At the previous lesson, we remembered a lot of words about sport. We talked about winter sport, summer sport, indoor sport, outdoor. We learned how to use play, go, or do with sports. We found very strange sports like dog surfing or chess boxing. And we created even our own kind of sports, unique sport like paper ball. So, and I gave you the home task. Let's check it out. You should correct the mistakes. Look at the sentences and let's do it together. Let's do swimming after school. Where is the mistake? Here. What we should put it? Yes, you are right. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. My brother doesn't go boxing. He thinks it's boring. Where is mistake? What should we put in, fill in? Yes, you're right, do boxing. Next, last summer they did surfing in Spain. What should we fill in here? Yes, went surfing because it was last summer, past. Next, she play aerobics every morning because she likes dancing. What is mistake? She does aerobic every morning. Yes, you're right. She does. And the last one, look. They go hockey without helmets. It's dangerous. What is mistake? What we should put in? They play hockey. Yes, you're right. Okay. So, today we will talk about the most popular sport all over the world and in Ukraine. Guess what? What this sport? Hmm? Yes, this is football. In the beginning, I would like to explain the difference between this picture and this picture. This is football and this is football too, but they are different. This is football, we call it sometimes soccer, and even footy. And this is American football, completely different shape of balls, different uniforms. Remember, it's not the same. Next. Now, I'll tell you some new words and phrases about football. Try to guess their meaning and repeat. Someone playing football is football player or footballer. Footballer. Repeat after me. Football player. Footballer. We use foot ball plus this ending and we have a person who plays football. Next. A group of footballers who plays together team 
player. Team, a group of players who plays together is a team. How many players are there in football team? How many? Who knows? Yes, there are 11 players in a football team. This is England national team World Cup 2018. How many players? 11. Good. To move a ball with your foot, to move a ball with your foot is kick the ball. Kick the ball. We don't hit the ball, we don't throw the ball, we kick the ball in football. Remember it. When the ball goes into a net, a goal net, you score a goal. Goal! Score a goal. Score a goal. A player who stands in a goal net is goalkeeper. 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 Repeat once again. Kick the ball. Score a goal. Goalkeeper. And now, look, Ronaldo is kicking the ball and scoring a goal. Ata boy. Ну и хлопать. Ата boy. Goalkeeper missed the ball. Вратарь goalkeeper пропустил мяча. Well, I never. Ну и ну. Well, I never. Kicking the ball. Goalkeeper score a goal. Go next. Look at this picture. Stadium. This is a place where sportsmen play football. Stadium. This is a building. Stadium. But this is football field or football pitch. This green part of the stadium with grass, usually with grass, is football field or football pitch. Okay, stadium, the people who support, pitrimut, or cheer up the players, fans or rooters, fans or rooters. Болівальники або фани. To go for, to go for, це вболівати за когось. Who are you going for? За кого ти вболіваєш? I'm going for Dynamo Kiev or Brazil. Cheer somebody up. Це підтримувати, надихати. Cheer somebody up. Some words for cheering up. Come on. Come on, давай, look out, обережно. Pet up, громи їх, бий їх. Not bad, not bad, hooray. These all phrases for cheering team, football team up. The stadium is full of fans. Look at this picture. The stadium is full of fans. Повний фанатами. They are cheering the team up. Вони підтримують команду. Ole, 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 this is a famous cheering up of fans. Ole, 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 we are the champions. Good. Let's go for, further. And match. The football game called sometimes match. Great match. Win a game. Win a game means Finishing match with better score. With better score. Score це рахунок. To be over це закінчувати, да? Finish. To be over. The game is over. You know this word. The game is over. And trophy, trophy, trophy. 
you have a trophy, the prize for winning. When you win. The game is over. Гра закінчена. It was a great match. Це був фантастичний, великий матч. Dynamo Kiev won 2 nil. The trophy is ours. Dynamo Kiev виграли. Кубок наш. Зверніть увагу. Ми кажемо 2 nil. Without any other words, without без інших слів. The trophy is ours, кубок наш. And now, let's look at some football rules. Football is a game with 11 players. So we have several very simple rules. You score goals when you kick the ball in the goal net. You score goals, ви забиваєте м'яча, when you kick the ball in the goal net. Коли м'яч попадає у ворота. There are 11 players on the football pitch. На полі грають 11 спортсменів. Game over after 90 minutes. 90 minutes. You mustn't touch the ball with hand. You mustn't touch the ball with hands. Не можна заборонено торкатися м'яча руками. Окей. А тепер давайте подивимося більш уважно на граматичні структури. Let's watch grammar. Look. Ronaldo is kicking the ball. We use here present continuous tense. Present continuous tense. What's this? Who remember? It describes what's happening now. What is happening now in the moment of Speaking. Цей час описує дію, яка відбувається прямо зараз, у момент говоріння. Present continuous. Now I'm standing and having English lesson. Now you are watching English lesson on your TV. Як ми формуємо цей час? How we make this tense? Verb to be with verb and ing ending. For example, you are watching online English lesson now. You are watching I am standing. Present continuous tense describe the action which is going on now. Remember it. That's why it's very useful for watching football games. When we watch football game, we are describing what's going on on screen. Okay. And now let's practice. Okay, let's practice. Because English, I'm sure it's also a sport and we need to train our skills. Okay, we should put this verb in correct form. Let's watch the game. Давай подивимося матч. Let's watch the game. Давай подивимося гру. Brazil team, yes, you're right, is playing. Brazilia grae, zaraz, oz. Of course, yes, da, zvichajno. Number two, what are you doing now? Sho ti zaraz robish? What are you doing now? Vidpovit, jaka bude? 
Yes, you're right. I am watching a football match. Я зараз дивлюсь футбольний матч. I am watching a football match. Next. Уявіть ситуацію, да? Imagine the situation. Can you help me, please? Можеш мені допомогти зараз, now? Can you help me, please? No, I can't. Я не можу. Чому? Тому що у мене зараз є урок англійської. I am having online English lesson now. Sorry, next time. Пробач, мабуть, в іншим разом. Наступна. Why are they so slowly? Why are they running so slowly? Чому вони бігають так повільно? Why are they running so slowly? I can't stand it. Come on. Я не можу винесути цього. Я не можу, не можу це терпіти. Давай, давай. Тобто хтось дивиться зараз футбольний матч, футбольний, футбольну гру і коментує її. Somebody watching game and commenting. Why are they running so slowly? Okay. And the last one. Look. Look, подивись. Referee is showing red card to him. Oh no, well I never. Подивись. Суддя показує йому зараз червону картку, да? Щось він правила якісь він нарушив. Referee is showing red card to him. That's why we use here present continuous tense. Good. Uh, а тепер and now you should tell me true or false. Правда або неправда. Я читаю вам речення, а ви мені даєте відповідь. Це правда чи неправда? True or false? The first. There are six players in the football team. True or false? False. Because how many players in a football team? Yes. There are 11 players in a football team. Next. You mustn't touch the ball with hands in a football game. Of course, you mustn't touch the ball with hands in a football game. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. It's one of the football rules. So nice travel football. Next. Chess boxing is the most popular sport all over the world. Is it true or false? Yes, it's false because chess boxing is very strange sport and it's not so popular as football, for example. What is the most popular sport? The most popular sport is football. Okay. Next. American football is the same sport as a soccer. Is it true or false? Of course it's false, because American football is a completely different sport. And the last one. When the ball goes into the net, you score a goal. Is it right? Yes, it is. It's true. Okay. Let's look at this sentence. The trophy is ours. Кубок наш. Ми не кажемо тут this, this is our trophy. Ми кажемо the trophy is ours. Зараз я поясню чому. І так, коли ми кажемо it's my uniform, це моя уніформа, ми використовуємо слово my у якості присвійного прикметника. Яка уніформа? Моя. Але ми можемо сказати «It's mine» – це моє. І тоді це буде присвійний займенник. «It's mine». Ми можемо сказати «They are your trainers» –
це твої спортивні кросівки. Або ми можемо сказати they are yours. Вони твої. І тоді це буде займенник. Possessive pronouns. It is his racket. Це його ракетка. Або це його. Це його. It's her water bottle. Це її пляшка з водою. Або the water bottle is hers. Ця бутилка її. They are our trophies. Це наші кубки. Або вони наші. Вони наші. І останнє – it's the snowboard. Це їх snowboard. Або the snowboard is theirs. Snowboard – їх. У другому стовпчику, ви бачите, ми не маємо іменника. Ми маємо займенник. Mine, yours, his, hers, ours and theirs. This Words will be very useful for you in locker room. Ці слова будуть дуже корисні для вас у роздягальні, коли ви будете шукати, де чиї речі. When you are looking for your stuff, your things. Remember it and practice. I will give you some practice to do at home. And now... In the end of our lessons, let's play a little. Okay, I mind the time. Я засікаю час. And you should write down as many words about sport as you know. Clear? Я засікаю час. І ви повинні записати за одну хвилину якомога більше слів на тему спорт. Okay? Are you ready? I mind the time. Three, two, one, go. Okay, three, two, one, stop, finish. How many words have you got? You can compete with your mother, brother, sister. We може змагатися з своїми мамою, татом або сестрою, братом, у кого більше слів, who wrote, write down more words. Okay, so. Today at our English lesson, we've learned a lot about football. Football is the most popular sport in the world. You can play it outside, inside, and even here at this table with this small game. We've learned that there are 11 players in football team. We've learned that this is a football field or football pitch. We know that this man is goalkeeper. He keeps the goal. We've learned that a lot of fans or rooters are cheering up their team when they are at the stadium. And uh, we've practice some grammar 
and we know that present continuous is a tense which describes the action which is going on now when moment of speaking. So, let's practice English and be healthy. Goodbye.